So in this video, we're gonna be exploring what a dysregulated nervous system is. We're gonna be talking about some of the signs and symptoms, but also three of the key things that can cause your nervous system to be dysregulated. So the key function of our nervous system is for us to be able to respond to threat or dangers in our environment. This is an evolutionary response to keep us safe. When there's an immediate threat or a danger, we get a big hit of adrenaline and cortisol. Our blood flow goes to our arms and our legs to allow us to respond to that threat. That's a healthy response, and all of us have survived short-term threats in our lives because of that response. The problem is, when that acute danger response becomes a chronic response, when we become normalized to being in that dysregulated state. This is what, in my work, I call a maladaptive stress response. This is when a healthy response becomes maladaptive. So what's the link between our nervous system and fatigue? Well, fatigue-related conditions such as ME, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, Lyme disease, and so on, they share a set of symptoms which are also symptoms of nervous system dysregulation. Now, my point here is not that complex fatigue-related conditions are only caused by a dysregulated nervous system. That's not true. They are multi-system conditions. In fact, check out this previous video with a card on screen where I talk about the different bodily systems that are often important in fatigue-related conditions. But some of the key symptoms of a dysregulated nervous system include fatigue because it takes a lot of energy to sustain this state of dysregulation. Symptoms such as anxiety, because our system is on, those stress hormones of adrenaline and cortisol are pumping through our system when they don't need to be doing so. Sleep issues, to really be able to relax and surrender into sleep, our nervous system has to be in balance. Chronic pain, partly as a result of chronic tension in our muscles and in our body. A maladaptive stress response can also impact upon our mood, that we can experience states of numbness and shutting down and depression as a result of our system being constantly activated. So I'm curious as to for you which of these symptoms resonate. Please do post in the comments below the video. It often helps us to recognize and identify what's happening when we learn from each other. So the next question is, well, why in fatigue-related conditions may we be more prone to experiencing a maladaptive stress response? Well, there's three pieces we're going to talk about here. One is childhood trauma. If we have unresolved, unhealed childhood trauma, that feels to our nervous system like the danger and the threat is still here. The second is that one of the products of trauma, but also one of the things we may learn in our life, is ways of responding to ourselves, responding to other people, and responding to the world around us, where we're constantly activated. Maybe we have what I call an achiever pattern. We're trying to define our self-worth and our value by what we do and what we achieve. Or maybe we have a helper pattern where we're constantly trying to rescue and be there for everyone else at the detriment of our own energy and capacity. So these ways of relating become chronically depleting and draining. But the third factor here I think is particularly important. When we suffer from a medically unexplained illness, when we don't know what's wrong with us, why it's wrong with us, should we rest, should we push through, are we ever going to recover? That in of itself feels like a danger and a threat to our nervous system. So just the very experience of suffering from a complex fatigue-related condition can be that our nervous system becomes dysregulated because of the uncertainty 
of a medically unexplained illness. Now, the good news is that although we may have normalized to having a dysregulated nervous system, to being in a maladaptive stress response for, for many, many years, we can change, we can heal it. So please do subscribe to this channel for future videos where we're gonna be exploring tools, techniques, and strategies to learn how to reset your nervous system, to learn how to switch off a maladaptive stress response. Thanks for watching.